The PLA Navy's newest and most sophisticated aircraft carrier, Fujian, returned to appear at Shanghai's Zhongyan shipyard on May 8 after what has been described as a flawless eight-day maiden sea trial. China's state-owned media announced that the aircraft carrier successfully tested its electrical and power systems and achieved the expected results from its first trial. The propulsion and electrical systems of the Fujian underwent a series of tests, along with other equipment and subsystems. However, these reports noted that no tests pertaining directly to the carrier's state-of-the-art electromagnetic catapult technology EMILS, were conducted during the maiden trial run. The carrier is expected to carry out follow-up testing as planned by the authorities. Compared to the Liaoning and Shandong aircraft carriers, the vessel's initial sea trial lasted longer. It took the Shandong six days and the Liaoning five days to finish their maiden trials. Launched in June 2022, the Fujian is the first aircraft carrier in China to be outfitted with electromagnetic catapults. Chinese experts stated that the Fujian can launch more aircraft because of its larger displacement and electromagnetic catapults, allowing the carrier to launch more effectively. Using catapult launch systems signifies a significant leap forward in China's naval capabilities. These systems, more effective than ski jumps, alleviate strain during takeoff, enabling the launch of larger fixed-wing aircraft with heavier payloads and increased fuel capacity. A noteworthy advancement of Fujian is its ability to accommodate a wide variety of aircraft. It is expected to host upgraded J-15 fighter jets as well as new aircraft, such as the next-generation stealth fighter jet J-35, the fixed-wing early warning aircraft KJ-600, and the JL-10 advanced trainer jet. The PLA hopes to have six carriers overall by 2035, making it the second-largest Blue Water Navy in the world, behind the United States. Additionally, with Fujian's induction, the PLA will have three carriers, which essentially means that the service could have at least one carrier in active deployment at all times, even if the other two are conducting training missions or undergoing maintenance at a shipyard.